Hi everyone, and welcome to Daily Revelations. This is a weekly Bible study where we use precept methods to, to go through God's Word, one Bible book at a time, and one chapter of that a week. And so this week, we are starting out with our first lesson now in Daniel 9. And what I just ask you to do your first day as you read through this chapter for the first time, and it may not be the first time you've read through this chapter, but it's the first time doing it as you methodically go through it every day of the week and just see what God has to reveal to you. There's always something new, always something new. And Daniel 9, as I was reading through it, the thing that popped out to me was this. We, when Daniel prayed to God, he included himself as part of the problem. Even though the Israelites who failed God were a previous generation. They were his parents and they were his grandparents and they were the people before that. And maybe not even, maybe they were faithful, but it was other people, other, and he could so easily have said, they did this and they did that and they did that, but he didn't. He said, we, and it's something to, um, to make note of because oftentimes we are good to point fingers at others, but we forget that we too and our sin nature is part of the problem. Here's what he says in verse five. He says, we have sinned, we have committed iniquity, we've acted wickedly, we've rebelled, we've even turned aside from your commands on purpose. Verse six says, we have not listened to your, your prophets, we haven't listened to their priests. And verse eight says, we, um, we have shame that belongs to us. We've sinned against you. Verse 9 says, we have rebelled. Verse 10 says, we have not obeyed the voice of the Lord. And verse 13 says, we've sought favor of the Lord over God, um, or they've not sought favor of the Lord our God, and they turned away in sin, giving attention and not giving attention to truth. Hmm. Yeah, we, not just they, but me too. And that's something that we should all be doing instead of looking at all of the things that everyone else around us does wrong. What am I doing wrong? What, what is going on in my life? And how am I part of the problem? Because we all are. It just happens. And we all need to, to be in check. You know, that Bible verse that says, take the log out of your own eye before you take out the speck in someone else's. And it's just a good reminder that um, we all fall short. And it's much easier to point at others and say, this is what's wrong with them, instead of allowing God into your life. And that's what he does so good when we are in his book and, and praying to him and asking for him to speak to us is he will use his still small voice to say, hmm, yeah, this is kind of your problem too, and just stir our hearts. And those are the times when we are more likely to change because we are open and we are listening and we are ready to receive. So I hope that's an encouragement to you today. Read through Daniel 9 for the first time and see what God has to say to you. I will see you again tomorrow as we continue this study. Thanks for joining me on Daniel